Note to self, when you've got water overhead, because you're making brine shrimp, uh, make sure that the valve, these are brand new Zeiss valves, or Zis, I'm not sure. Um, and and they it wasn't tightened all the way, it sure seemed like it was. But I got it hanging down low and it was draining. So probably best to just make sure they're hanging overhead. All right, um, I don't know, a few weeks back I did a video on uh, the baby brine shrimp that I, that I make. I've got these uh, homemade um, brine shrimp hatcheries that I made out of one liter jugs and these CO2 air valves or, or air caps that you can buy on eBay. Um, and I've been using, and I put, so I've got two of them set up right now. We're gonna do a little experiment. Uh, and each one of these has a liter of water and one tablespoon of plain old non-iodized uh, table salt. And I did not put any tap water conditioner or dechlor or anything like that in these. I don't worry about it. It has not mattered yet. Um, and in the past, well, up till now still, I have been using these brine shrimp direct eggs. And I was mentioning several times that how small I think the baby brine shrimp come out. I had another batch that came in a little, little small bag that I bought from Amazon once upon a time. Uh, and they were, they seemed bigger. And I'd have to go back through my Amazon history and see what they were. But anyway, these are, I bought these on Amazon too. They're just, I feel like they're smaller. So Jeff from Pelham's Aquatics suggested aquarium co-op eggs. So there they are, uh, aquarium co-op brine shrimp eggs with, uh, gosh, I can't remember his name, uh, Murphy. Murphy the big puffer fish. So anyway, so I, I just started opening this thing. I thought, well, I should do that. So you all can see it's a fresh can. We'll get all this out, then I'll open it up. And what I'll probably end up doing, once I get this all taken apart, is store the eggs in one of these Talanti plastic cups in the fridge. And they'll be easier to access than this, this cool little metal can that Aquarium Co-op sells them in. And so what I'm gonna do, uh, based on a suggestion that these make larger baby brine shrimp, I'm gonna do the aquarium co-op on the left in this Essentials uh, water bottle. And then I will do the brine shrimp direct on the right in this blank water bottle, all right? So I'm gonna put uh, a couple, I don't know, a couple teaspoons. And what I've been using, this is really a high-tech process, mind you. So I've been using these uh, plastic spoons that I got from uh, Disney California Adventure because they've got the better spoons for ice cream in, in the little uh, dispensers than Ghirardelli's does when you get their spoons, those suck. So anyway, I use this spoon and I'll put a couple, a couple spoons full uh, in each one of these. And then, let me do that. I'm gonna put you on hold. All right, so I've got two of those spoonfuls get the light out of there so much and that's the uh, aquarium co-op in this one two spoonfuls and remember that's these little plastic spoons that I use and two spoons of brine shrimp direct in this one now one thing I think I've just come across is aquarium co-op could probably save a bunch of money if they did not sell them in these clever little cans because inside that clever little can is this plastic bag that's sealed. Just put a label on the bag and ship that. My goodness, be a lot cheaper. They don't, that's a waste of money. And besides, I would not put the eggs in here because they'd be really tough to get out because I'm sure you can't see that. But down in the bottom, there's a big gap that you'll never get brine shrimp eggs out of. So anyway, just my two cents on that one. So we'll come back. Uh, today is, what did I say? New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, December 31st. And I don't know, it's pushing 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. And so we'll look at them Tuesday. Uh, probably two days, that's probably about right uh, to harvest them out. And then we'll compare, uh, compare sizes, compare batches, and see if there really is any difference. So anyway, I hope you all have a, uh, or have, by the time I post this, hope you all had a wonderful, safe and sane new year. And if you didn't, I hope you had a great time anyway. <laughs> all right, talk to you. Thought I'd throw this in there too. 
Uh, these are the aquarium co-op eggs on the left here. They're, uh, they're kind of darker, almost reddish. Let me see if I can zoom in a little. I just got a new phone trying to figure out how uh, all the new bells and whistles on it. Okay, and then these are the brine shrimp direct. Now, one thing I will say about the brine shrimp direct eggs, they leave a lot of the cysts, that, the empty shells that go through and in this tank, you may be able to see them. They float to the surface all along the edge, right? But they, they also end up down in the food. That alarm just go off. So they also, this, the empty shells end up in the food too. So I'm going to see if the shell issue is as big a deal with the aquarium co-op eggs. Also, so this will be some good stuff. So the air's been off about 20 minutes. Now this is Wednesday. I was originally going to do this on Tuesday, and they didn't look like they were far enough along. So this is Wednesday the 3rd, and these have settled down pretty well. Remember, the ones on the right are the brine shrimp direct. The ones on the left here are from Aquarium Co-op. Okay, and these have settled out nicely. These are still settling out. So the next step will be to dump them one at a time into this one liter measuring cup. And then after that, I'll get rid of some of the excess water and put each one in one of these uh, these old plastic Talanti ice cream cups. And we'll see if we can see what the difference is um, if, if the aquarium co-op brine shrimp are in fact any larger than uh, the brine shrimp direct brine shrimp. We shall see. All right, remember, just a quick recap, there was a liter of water in each one of these uh, homemade brine shrimp farms, hatcheries, and the um, CO2 caps that I got from eBay, and aquarium line, just air tube, and uh, valves, and uh, the water, straight tap water, untreated, no dechlor or anything like that, and one tablespoon of non-iodized table salt. Nothing fancy here. All right, well, one thing I noticed, I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off here. Let's see. All that kind of whitish gray stuff on the bottom. This is the brine shrimp direct. Those are uh, the shells. There's a bunch of them that's settled out. And this is the aquarium co-op. And it seems to be a lot cleaner. So that was one of the things I noticed. And also I noticed uh, there's a lot more debris floating in the brine shrimp direct and a lot less debris in the aquarium co-op. Now I just squirted, I'll do it. Whoops, I just dropped my plastic measuring cup. Fortunately there's nothing in it. I just squirted some uh, um, brine shrimp into the aquarium using a pipette they look about the same size. It doesn't really look like. Okay, so here is Aquarium Co-op. There's a tube full of baby brine shrimp. I seriously doubt we'll ever get anything trying to focus on that. They're just too small and this is a, a phone and not a really good. So anyway, well, let's just shoot some in and see what happens. Let me find that. There's a pipette. So once they start to disperse a little bit, you can kind of get an idea. Rinse the pipette out, and we'll take a shot of uh, brine shrimp direct, and shoot those, Where's, there's the pipette again. Wait till these disperse a little bit. Not a lot of difference in uh, size, I don't think. But what I notice when I, I've been using the Brine Shrimp Direct uh, for a while now, because uh, I bought that you know coffee can full, and I notice a lot of uh, the Brine Shrimp eggs that end up in uh, you know being fed into the tanks, uh, settling out around the the, the waterline edges. So we'll see if we get that with the Aquarium Co-op as well. But what I'm gonna do next 
is I'm going to do this again uh, and, and recap here. This is Aquarium Co-op on the right in the essential and Brine Shrimp Direct on the left in this blank one. I'm going to reverse them. So next time I'm going to do the Brine Shrimp Direct in this one, the essential, and the Aquarium Co-op in this one. And then we'll see if there's any real difference if we still get the same kind of uh, you know waste layer at the top uh, we'll see and I'm also noticing right now let me put the flashlight on it maybe that'll help but there's the uh, all that that layer at the bottom of the brine shrimp direct those are all the empty cysts or, or eggshells and the aquarium co-op not so much all right, um, so it's a, uh, there, there is a big difference in that respect. So I'm wondering if in the grand scheme of things, you're paying or we're paying, I'm paying for a lot more waste in the uh, Aquarium Co-op versus the Brine Shrimp Direct. I'm sorry, a lot more waste in the Brine Shrimp Direct. Yeah, how's that go? Scratch that, reverse it, yeah. A lot more waste in the Brine Shrimp Direct than there is in the Aquarium Co-op because the eggshells there, they, they don't do uh, the fish any good. They'll settle out, so I don't know, maybe it provides calcium in the tank, and I suppose if you've got, uh, you know, any kind of shrimp in the tank, uh, and I've got a lot of uh, red cherry shrimp, they'll feed on those probably, pick up some calcium out of the, out of the cyst. So anyway, uh, so that's kind of where it ends. So, uh, so far, uh, we'll see how they feed. I doubt they feed any differently other than all the extra debris from the brine shrimp direct. direct. You can really see that settling out here. Let me put the light back on it. And you can really see the, the layer, the bottom there, and not so much there. Let's see if I can pull that up again. This is the brine shrimp direct. So let's see. Yeah, you can see how, how white the bottom's getting now. All that sediment. That's all the um, empty shells. But anyway, just something to think about. Um, and also go ahead and check out my uh, how to make a, a brine shrimp hatchery, do-it-yourself brine shrimp hatchery. They're really relatively inexpensive. Uh, and uh, then I've got another video. I think it's one of the, the, the shorts on how to uh, how to start the you know start the the recipe essentially. All right, talk to y'all later. And um, by the way, happy New Year, Garage Aquatics 2023. My name's Ron. And I'll see you down the pipe. Oh, and by the way, you know the you know the drill. Uh, questions, comments, or smart ass remarks, please feel free.